Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves, and welcome to my updated wardrobe tour. This time, we'll be going through every single dress I own due to popular demand. And what I'm essentially going to do is I'm going to say the name of each dress. You'll get a quick little look at it. And if you'd like more detail shots, you should head over to Frock Talk, where I'm going to cover one dress at a time until we go through every single one. I've had a lot of demand for Frock Talk's return, and given that it was such a pain in the ass before, it did fall to the wayside. However, I've recently gotten a gimbal, and we're no longer dragging my softbox into my closet, so you're going to have to deal with the lighting as is. But I'll be able to bring Frock Talk back on a weekly or bi-weekly basis so that you can get good detail shots of each dress. As of this day, January 15th, 2020, at roughly 10 years in the fashion, I have managed to accrue 69 brand dresses. I believe the overwhelming majority, Angelic Pretty, I one Metamorphose dress and three BTSSB. Everything else? AP. I have a problem, and it's not getting any better. We're just gonna go in order, all right? Because there's a lot to cover, and I've got some poor soul holding a camera who probably wishes he was anywhere else right now. So we'll start with the first. This is Sugar Dream Dome. Sugar Dream Dome, right here. Next up, Dreaming Present. Milky Pony Carnival. Fancy Whip. Lovely Snow Fantasy, favorite of mine. Sweet Cream Princess. Love those macarons. Castle Mirage, special set. Special for a different reason, too. It is special for a different reason, because a certain someone, who may or may not be in this room, got this dress for me. That helped. <laughs> got it for me for Christmas, which makes it even more special. Ribbon Berry Bunny. You may remember me from last year's episode of Frock Talk. <laughs> I forgot that we did one on this dress. <laughs> I fucking love this dress so much. It's so pretty. I almost don't want to put it back. Usakumya-chan is petite patissier Judy style JSK. Gazoon tight. Sorry, I gotta get the reaction shot. Uh, <laughs> you are fired! <laughs> What's that? Musée. Do chocolate. Okay, now this one you should talk about because this is this kind of has a story a, a story behind it. It does, it does. I hunted for this dress for a long, 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 long time. I was never in the right place at the right time to find it, and it finally came up. And I, if I recall correctly, I got a really good deal mm -hmm. on that dress. It was I, the holy grail, and you got the head bow too. I did get the head bow. I forgot that I got the head bow. Yeah, that's in the drawers that we'll show you in a second. Next up is Teddy Bear Baker by Metamorphose. This dress I was really, really torn on because, again, that's money that could be spent on AP. But I do not regret it. It is a lovely dress. And I've already worn it a couple of times, and I love it dearly. I especially love the little bear cupcakes. Look at that. Look at that little bear cake. That's right. Camera moves now. Look at that bear cake. I love it. It's gorgeous. Next up is my sweet mate Kumya's 30th anniversary JSK, I believe. There's probably some words I'm missing, but with baby, it's always a paragraph. I was obsessed with this dress immediately. Covered in cakes, little bears. Absolutely love it, even as the collar slowly descends into the pits of hell where I truly belong. Let's put this, was it? Ah, ha, ha, yes, it was right here getting my dress placement mixed up. They all have specific homes, all right? I'm not just putting these things in here willy-nilly. If they go elsewhere, I get all sorts of weirded out, and I'm gonna be fixing all these hangers later. Next up is Kumya Chan's Christmas Holly Night, the best Christmas dress, side of classic fairy tales, to ever exist. Absolutely adore this dress. Everything from the colors to the placement of the print is just on point. Did you say it's the best Christmas dress that's actually a Christmas dress? Because yeah. Classic Fairy Tales te technically isn't. Classic Fairy Tales is most definitely not a Christmas dress, but it is for anyone with a soul. So next up, Fancy Paper Dolls with its little neckties not currently tied because... Sin. Gorgeous dress. I believe I got this dress for $70 with the 
had bow. It was a fracking steel in the colorway that I absolutely adored because I first saw it with Bunny Butts. I believe Bunny Butts on Instagram, Stevie, wore it when I first met her and she just made it look so gorgeous. I had to have it. So I hunted it down and got the deal of the century for 70 bucks. Next up is a dress I am extremely proud of. This is Wonder Party, also by Angelic Pretty. Obviously most of them are. There's a safe chance it's by Angelic Pretty if it's in my closet. This one I was absolutely obsessed with because of the large bow. The re-release has a tiny bow and deserves to burn. Next dress is Wonder Cookie. Wonder Cookie in Saks. You might see its counterpart there. I'll get to it in a moment. Wonder Cookie in Saks was one of those dresses I first saw when I first entered the fashion. And this one is in extraordinarily good condition down to the little teapots. Have a look at that teapot. Look at that gorgeous teapot. Am obsessed with this dress. It has that Alice vibe. And this is the only dress I will accept that vibe in because otherwise it looks like cosplay. It's a nice dress. Where'd you get it by the way? Oh yeah. You know, I feel like somebody got it for me. Who's that guy again? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no. <laughs> My wonderful partner got it for me for this Christmas and I love it very much and it's so pretty and everything he gets me makes the dress 50 times more special, bare minimum. And I'm not just saying that because he's holding the camera and can ruin this video at this moment. No, you're saying it because it came with the headbow and the socks. Oh, I, he needs to brag. It also came with the headbow and the socks, which is accurate. Thank you. All right, next dress up. You might have seen this from before. I wonder where. Long time since you've seen this print. Wonder Cookie in pink. That's right. I'm one of those people that will collect multiple colorways. Fight me. I will take your dresses off the market. I actually, I love the print in both colors and I love it enough to buy two. So there you go. Wonder Cookie in pink. I can't remember when I got this dress. It was sometime relatively early within my Lolita career, I feel like. I'm not exactly certain. They all start to fade together after a while. Next one up, Milky Planet. Now this dress is a fracking achievement. You don't know, all right? You don't know. Milky Planet was 600 hecking dollars back in the live journal days, all right? 600 dollars just to wear this fracking dress and it was stained nine times out of ten. Nine times out of ten it was stained, horribly stained. I got this dress in like new like condition from I believe like Takoyaki or something like that. They don't even exist anymore to my knowledge. But finding this dress for the price that I found it with glitter intact, man, that's like a miracle. Sorry, we'll move on. I get very excited about Milky Planet. That's one of my absolute favorites. All right, so now we have to dig into the dresses because I have no self-control and my wardrobe continues to expand beyond my limits. Next up, if I can pull it out from the depths, is my first brand dress, you will remember, from Frock Talk. Miracle Candy Going Out Special Set. It also came with two little blue ribbons and I will keep this dress until the day I die because it was my first AP dress and it is incredibly special to me. Now let's see if we can shove it back from whence it came. All right, next up, now that I've managed to tame that dress, this dress, which I have to keep in a careful plastic coating because it will pick up every speck of dust for 50 square miles because it is velveteen, the best and worst material ever to be invented by man. This is called Jewelry Jabbit. I absolutely love it. However, it is a bitch and a half to store and I don't want to hear you talking about it shouldn't be in a little plastic case, it might mold. I have AC, all right? This is a first world country. Fight me. We're gonna put this back. I don't know why I got heated over that, but I can hear it in the comments section already. That oh, shouldn't be in the plastic, it's gonna mold. Where do you live that things mold, all right? That's not America. That's not even Mexico. This is why I keep you around. That was all a right. Simpsons reference. I noticed. <laughs> this is why I keep you around. All right. Let's go for the next dress. That was Jewelry Jabbit. Next up, another OG AP. Well, for, you know, 2010 era style sweet. Fruits Parlor. Yes, they sold this to me without the, without the clip and I am incredibly salty about that. But I love this dress. It is hard as frack to cord with anything because it is the most orange pink you could ever dream up in your wildest nightmares. 
but I keep it because it reminds me of those old live journal days way back when when no one could buy brand new unless you had some kind of black market hookup not gonna get into that that's for frock talk next up memorial cake love love this dress it's got gorgeous cupcakes and there's even an engagement ring hidden in it this was also another one of my early AP dresses. I should make a frock talk on this one. Next in line, which is on a different hanger because it likes to fall off of anything else. Little Bear's Cafe. Lovely Lore does not like this dress because it has squirrels. I like it because it does. Honestly, it's a gorgeous little dress. I don't wear it half as much as I should because mini sleeve OPs, man, they don't really invite a lot of creativity unless you're into like boleros? Is it bolero? I don't know how to pronounce it. Unless you're into those little shoulder covery thingies that aren't blouses. Next up. Whew. This is a workout. It's Jesus. a workout for me holding this fucking thing. You poor thing. <laughs> He's holding a gimbal and, and a camera. It's fun. Uh, <clears throat> Jesus, it's, it's not. It's, it's fucking arm day. This thing isn't even zipped up. Oh my God. The sin! Oh god, it's stuck on the satin. Here we go, there we go. This is fine. This isn't a bordello. Sweet Cream House. Now this dress was a real catch. Took me a while to find. Fracking gorgeous piece. But short as hell. Next up. Yeah, go back. Back! Join your brethren. Next up. Royal Poodle, another dress that is special to me because someone who may or may not be in this room got this dress for me. I do believe, was it Christmas or birthday? It was Christmas. It was Christmas. They would know. They would be the authority on this. You can say he. I'm not one of those they thems. I'm going to cut that part out. <laughs> You're going to piss off several people. No, it's perfectly fine. I'm just, I'm, it's just, I'm not one of them. Not one of those they them. I'm not one of them. You're not one of them. <laughs> no pun intended. So many people are gonna unsubscribe. Look what you did. <laughs> Jesus. Next up, jewelry, jelly, jewelry, jelly, faded print and all. I am told that they just kind of came out of the factory like that. So that may not be an oops. They may just be that way. Because sometimes it'd be that way. Next up, one that I'm proud of, because I got a deal on this thing, Daydream Carnival. I remember when this thing was hugely popular and you had to pay quite a markup to get it. I found it on the Japanese secondhand sites for a steal. All right. Oh my God, it doesn't want to go back. Ah! Okay, Jesus. Hashtag Lolita problems. <sighs> Big wardrobe. <laughs> Big problems. All right, next up. Vaguely out of breath. Milky Chan, the Fawn, ribbon style JSK, and my absolute favorite dress in my entire wardrobe. Those of you who have seen the frock talk on it already know that this dress has a lot of significance for me as the first AP dress I was truly obsessed with. And I will keep this always there will never be a day i could be a a on the brink of collapse the earth could be ending and the thing i would take with me as the nuclear bombs dropped over my house would be milky chan the fawn because that's my priorities next one i don't know why i went straight to nuclear warfare but that's just how my brain works a dress that you all love to hate <laughs> flower egg garden in lavender look at those bunnies and tulips they're gorgeous, and I would love it, despite your hate. Next up, let's put this one back. Polyester dresses, for you cotton supremacists out there, are also easier to tuck back into your frackin' wardrobe. Next up, rose toilette. Gorgeous, covered in roses. Absolutely love it. I'm also looking forward to AP's Romantic Perfume, I believe. It's coming up in their Spring-Summer 2020 line. It reminds me a lot of Rose Toilette and Memorial Cake. All right, next up. Oh, where have you seen this before? Another flower egg garden. Why? Because frack you, that's why. Love this dress. 
Love the eggs. Love the tulips. So I gotta put it back because we got more wardrobe to go through, but I love it. Beautiful. Got anything to say about that, huh? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> next up. All right. Next up is Decoration Dream. The one that has the bustle in the back. Let's just get a bustle real quick. Have a look at that bustle. Turn it around. Decoration Dream. This is a print that I like to think about whenever I am trying to make my face reflect joy. There's parts of me that forget how to look happy when I am trying to report the news because pieces of my soul regularly die. So I think about Decoration Dream and it makes me smile. Next up, Eternal Carnival. Jesus Christ, there's more. Eternal Carnival. This was a bloodbath dress. I do believe I missed on the first try and won on the second. Because you get AP JP and AP USA releases. Just a gorgeous, very different print by AP. I've yet to see them release another piece like it. Next up. Jesus. Next up. One that I am personally proud of and apparently hung up unzipped because this is a fracking bordello. Let's just set this here and zip it back up before you see this dress's insides. That sounded wrong for several reasons. Cherry Berry Bunny in fan fracking tastic condition. One of the few dresses that I do not have the head bow for. I am still hunting if you got it out there for me. All right, that back. Next up, are you seeing double? Yes, a second rendition of Memorial Cake, this time in sacks, because I want all the things. I love it. It makes a completely different feeling card. All right, come at me. It's beautiful. I need multiples sometimes. I know there are those of you out there that agree with me. Some of you out there are like, yeah, I like multiple colorways too. The rest of you think I'm crazy. All right, next up, if Memorial Cake will let go, is Merry Making Party. I saw someone wear this dress on Instagram, instantly became obsessed with it, and bought it at the first opportunity. Love that little stripy belt. Next up. Kind of like whack every dress back into place. Jesus. There's more. That's right. We have to do some digging. Next up, glass bottle of tears. Now this dress actually came without the waist ties and I do believe it's because I got it and the head bow for $70. So I actually made little ribbon waist ties and it actually looks pretty smart when it's all tied together. I'm kind of proud of that because I can't sew for frack, which you may have noticed the moment you zoomed in on the buttonholes. <laughs> but you know what? It's serviceable. It works. And anyone who's throwing a hissy fit about my waist ties is probably too close to my ass anyway. All right, next. Sweets, Patissier, OP. This is an incredibly old AP piece, I feel like. And it even uses crocheted lace, like that kind of old school, really detailed, heavy dress but it's absolutely gorgeous when worn. It gives you that perfect kind of like, I don't know, like English boarding school feeling, you know? It's kind of got that kind of fanciful, sits on a sunny hillside and sketches tulips feel, you know? The kind of historical femininity. Next up and final in the dress spot of no return, is the red-headed stepchild of my wardrobe. Classic fairy tales. Classic fairy tales, everyone. The only dark green, non-pastel colored dress that I own. You've seen it before. I do believe I've done a frock talk on it. If I haven't, I will soon. Let's put this back. And everyone yells that it's an autumn dress and not a Christmas dress, but see the fucking pictures. We'll put pictures up of the Christmas of the Christmas. Take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You don't know, all right? I am a person who is in really good shape. I am a distance runner. I am an active dancer. I do industrial dancing, all right? That's like fighting the air for an hour, all right? It's, I'm in good shape. But having to like pick up, show, put back, woo, pick up, show, put back, woo, that's the name for that action, all right? Give me a better name than woo in the comments. I'm a little tired. Next dress, let's keep this rolling. I, I, if we stop, I'm, I'm ruined. Next up, magic, holy shit. Magic failure, magic princess. Magic princess, JSK, this was totally slept on which I can understand because I said horrible, awful things about it. I do believe I compared it to word art or paint, MS Paint or something like that, but it's actually quite charming on once you get past the kind of clip arty aspects of it. And I really like it now that I own it and spent money on it. And that's definitely not sunk cost fallacy talking. Let's put this back. Next up, Diner Doll. This was a Holy shit! <laughs> hold it! Hold it, cameraman! Dress down! Dress down! Magic princess! No! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I don't need your amusement. Alright, everything's okay. It's gonna be alright. Let me put this down. Oh god, I, I pulled out one of the boob laces. Alright, there we go. Give me back the dress. All right, this, thank you for your amusement, is Diner Doll. No, thank Doll. you. <laughs> I will end you. <laughs> Diner Doll, an absolute favorite of mine because it reminds me of that 2010 suite. Not sure if I've done a frock talk on it. I will soon enough. Look at that full back shirring. Heck yeah. All right, let's put this back. I'm going to try to keep Magic Princess from committing Sudoku. Stole that from Stevie. All right, the phrase, not the dress. Okay, next up, another special dress because it was given to me by a very special someone. French. How special? Cafe, incredibly special. He's special in other ways too. <laughs> French cafe, absolutely love this dress. Initially, I was, I was surprised how much I liked it because it's quite a dark, Pink. It's the only dress of this shade I believe I own, but it really pops with the red and the white. So I do like this dress a lot. Next up, another dress that's special to me because it was given to me by the same person. Beginning to see that oh. you are lining parts of my wardrobe. That was the first one. This was the first dress you ever gave me. And it is called Melty Chocolate. It is an OP and it is absolutely gorgeous. A very comfortable dress to wear. And I just, I love the print. I love the little chocolate thing. I love the little collar. It's just a very pretty Also came with dress. the bow. Also came with the bow, which he's very proud of getting for me. And getting it was a nightmare. <laughs> Apparently it was hard to get. <laughs> I swear to God, he's not filling my wardrobe, all right? He's, he's, he's contributing. I'm, I'm supplementing it. He's supplementing it. <laughs> but I'm not like, not like living off of his wardrobe supplements. I got 98% of I've... this. On my own, thank you very much. Well, like 92. <laughs> the cameraman will speak when spoken to. <laughs> Next up. Dolly Cat. Another gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And of course I love it because it is a cat print, which makes it superior immediately to all other prints. Just gorgeous. Love the little... Right there. That back... Wow, I can actually see the end. It's coming. Next up. Where have you seen this before? Ah, uh, yes. It is Decoration Dream. This time in yellow. Why? Because pink and yellow is kind of a secret obsession of mine. I don't like it as much as I love lavender and mint, but I think it, it pops really well. I think it's really cheery and cute. Plus all the little cute ribbons on it are nice. It's another one I got on Japanese secondhand sites, I believe. Next up is a AP Sweet Lolita Classic Toy Parade. Toy Parade is one of those dresses that you think of when you think of that 2009 through 2012 era of Sweet. Could have been released a year or two earlier. I don't know. All I know is I had to have it. 
Next up, Milky Swan. This is one that I was not initially amused by the little peplum covering the print, but I think it looks quite airy and it kind of gives you that, that kind of feathery feel. It's nice, it's very pretty. There's a head bow for that too. Put that back. Next up, and an absolute favorite of mine, Wrapping Heart. Otherwise known as the clusterfuck dress from hell. I lovingly call it a cluster frock. Absolutely adore this dress. It has a little thing that ties in the front. Even though it is high-waisted all the way to hell and back, it is beautiful and I will love it forever. Sorry, I have to I have to fix the hangers that bothers me. Next up. Another favorite, Toy Fantasy. Another dress with a nice amount of history. Not to be confused with Toy Parade or any other AP toy print. Toy Fantasy. Love the little bunnies. I think they're cute. Put that up. Again, for those of you who want more detail shots, watch Frock Talk because we, we don't have the time to go over every single dress and its history. That would be like a five hour video and that's what Frock Talk is for. Gee, why are none of these dresses zipped up? What is wrong with me? Apparently I clean them and then just put them on a fracking rack. All right. Next up, Strawberry Whip. Another fond cluster frock that I like. I don't know why, but there is something in my soul that just responds to overt, unapologetic tackiness. Now you would think that would make me a meta fan, but here we are. Put that back. All right, next up, Happy Garden. Now this is another one of those OG AP prints that I think of when I first started Lolita. And I do believe this is one of the few dresses I have in this kind of fabric, but it is absolutely stunning. I, I know I shouldn't go on about it and I won't, but I mean those bunnies and the little basket with the birds. Just look at those little babies. Oh God, I love it so much. All right, we got to put it back. Gotta put it back. I can't fuss over every dress. That's what Frog Talk is for. All right, next up, Toy Doll Box. This one was also another mega hit. I do believe this was selling for like 40k yen for just the JSK after it sold out on secondhand sites. And I am absolutely obsessed by everything on this. I will not dwell. It's for another video, but an absolutely gorgeous JSK. That's another one that I will never ever sell. Not that I will sell any of them. Let me pry them out of my cold dead hands. They're mine. But there we have it. Moving on to Wonder Patisserie. A print that was slept on, I believe because it it's kind of meta-y for an AP dress. It, it kind of has that meta quirkiness. But I really love it, and it looks really gorgeous at any kind of tea party. It just really stands out. Next up, this one was a modern bloodbath. Unbirthday, an AP and MI Kira collab. I have the head bow for this too, and it took some finagling for me to get used to it. But I absolutely loved everything about this print and had to own it. I originally wanted it in blue, but given that blue sold out too quick for me to blink, I got it in pink. Next up, we can almost see the end. We're almost there. Hang in there. Fleur Cat. This one sold out immediately and then dropped in value right after because the cats look like the mean cats. It's also been called Triste Cat, which essentially means like sad cat. After the little mean cat with the really sad face that I will put somewhere in this frame. It's, they're weird looking cats. They they look like cats that were drawn by like a medieval impressionist artist who had someone describe a cat to them while they were drunk. But it's got cats on it, so I'll keep it, even though they're so weird looking. Next up, Sweet Lacy Basket. This was a gorgeous print. I can't quite remember how well this sold, but I had to have it just because of those little ribbons in the midsection. 
worn this print many times. It's one of AP's few modern cotton releases. It's very pretty. Next up, another AP OG print for me. Dreamy Dollhouse. Glitter intact in stunningly good condition. This is the round style JSK. It is just absolutely gorgeous. And just one of those prints that makes me think of AP at their peak for that 2010 sweet style aesthetic. Love everything about it. Next up, you may have seen this before. I wonder where. <laughs> Sweetie Chandelier. Also the dress I am wearing, but this time in pink. Didn't I get you one of those? You got me this one. That's right. That's right. The cameraman, who is very, very chatty today, is responsible for getting me this dress, the blue one. And I had previously owned the pink one. So you can get a kind of like side by side of what they look like. They certainly do look similar. See this face, everyone? That's my life. That's the face I have to deal with every day. You're lucky there's witnesses. <laughs> All right, next up, since I can't murder you with people watching, Sugar Candy Shop in Saks. Now this print was robbed, okay? It was robbed. It was not bought in droves. People slept on it. I believe it went on fracking sale because AP stock pictures are terrible. And I had to do my part to correct this injustice by buying two of them. I have it in sex and I have it in pink and Sugar Candy Shop deserved better, okay? Deserved better. It's beautiful, look at it. Look at them together. Anyway, getting towards the end now. Jewel Marine. Jewel Marine is a dress that, again, I saw on social media. I believe it was some kind of video. And I immediately had to own it. It's one of those dresses I was that obsessed with. It's a gorgeous, summery feeling seaside print. Their head bow, though, was really weird. It laid flat on the head. So I snipped some strings and made it stand up, and now I like it. Next up, Cream Cookie Collection. Cream cookie collection, I believe, yes, I did see on a girl on Instagram, she made it look really just adorable and fluffy and squishy, and I had to own it at that point, and I found it in the exact style that I wanted it in, because the high-waisted version sucks. By the way, that's the dress that <clears throat> you have some fan art of you in, so oh, you should yeah, do, I do you know, write it in a picture of that. I feel fan like art. I have fan art of that one. I, it could be a different blue dress. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's that one yeah. that has the square so, pattern. Yes. Next up, Be My Valentine, another bloodbath dress. Modern day AP bloodbath. So worth fighting for because I love everything about it. And it's just fracking stunning. Down to those little bows on the waist bow. There's bows on the bow. It's bowception, all right? It's gorgeous. I love everything about this. I have to put it back, but I just want to hold it. I like that about almost every dress, but some dresses, you know, they get you. All right, we're near the end, we're near the end. Our next contender, Romantic Cat. Now this one, this one sparked mixed feelings for multiple people in the community, but I for one really, really like it. I love everything that's kind of like satiny finished about it that's kind of controversial because you have your cotton supremacists but god i love the little details of this dress it just feels really elegant and light and airy put that back speaking of elegant and light and airy heavenly banquet heavenly banquet was originally translated to sky dinner which i refuse to call it and it shall be always, to me, called Heavenly Banquet. There shall be no sky dinners, all right? This is not fracking Golden Corral Lolita edition. Have some class. All right, we're almost there. Two more. Dress number 68. Melty 
cream donuts. The second release, which I am proud to say is brighter and more vibrant than the initial release, which was one that held its value for a long time, mostly because donuts. Who doesn't like donuts? Anyone who doesn't like donuts can leave. It's beautiful, and I love everything about it, and I have to put it back because we got one more dress, one more mythical dress that I never thought in a million years that I would own because I am not the type of person who will put down a payment on a fracking car for a dress, but this dress was fantastically re-released to the general public. Cats Tea Party. This is the 69th dress and final of my collection thus far, until something else happens. And I never thought in a million years that I would own this dress. I do believe I've already done a frock talk on it, or an unboxing or something like that. But AP just so happened to re-release this dress for the original price, which you would think that it would go up to like match inflation, but it was legit the original price of this dress within 10 or 20 bucks or something like that. And this is this dress used to resell on the secondhand market for like $1,500, missing pieces and stained. So the fact that I was even able to own this cat print is due entirely to the fact that it was re-released and never in a million years of all the re-releases possible would I have thought that I would ever own this dress. And I love it exactly for the price that I paid for it. I never in a million years would have spent $1,500 on a cat dress when there's perfectly good whimsical vanilla chans out there. I think, since all of them are stained and used as shrags apparently, I'm gonna put a picture right there of the latest one I found that is also stained and missing waist ties and no head bow because God is cruel and I have done something to royally piss him off. Anyway, Cat's Tea Party, dress number 69 and our final dress of my wardrobe tour. Let's put it back and do just a little bit more. For those of you who want to see the rest, we're just going to pan some things. Let's show them the blouses. I know none of you care since we're done with the dresses, but here's a frack ton of blouses. I need to get another blouse rack. I know there's like too many and they're all like squished together, but I really love pink blouses, as you can tell. I like pink with everything, so I don't have a lot of color variety. But I like the blouses that I have, and I have some white ones, and blue and lavender and ivory and what have you. I've got a brown one way back here, and another one, my bloomers, a little brown underskirt from Innocent World, a uh, pink underskirt that I got from the Lolita Collective, which brand name I can't remember. I have another blouse up here by AP, it's really cute. And then one, I believe, from Bunny House, absolutely adore this blouse. Look at that. Man, you'd take flight in a windstorm. It's gorgeous. I love that. All right, let's have a look at the jewelry. The jewelry, <laughs> the jewelry is going to be um, almost overwhelmingly of two particular brands. This first drawer is where I keep some bracelets, but majority of my necklaces and rings, you can see that a lot of it is BB&B and the rest of it is AP. And then you have some Dolly House, off brand. A lot of my favorite bracelets are from Dolly House. I have a few AP bracelets. A lot of the rings, that's Dolly House. So is that. This, the ones up front are AP. Little AP bangles, a bangle over there. And obviously my dresses waist ties like to fall in here. But obviously you can tell how much I love BB&B &B, and I demand that these swans face each other because they're dating in my mind. <laughs> So that's the first drawer. I feel like you got a good look. Let's go to the second drawer, which I have recently colonized with little, little like organizers, little plastic organizers. I got my little off-brand bracelets. I got some Puvithil necklaces over there. Dolly House, Dolly House, AP, you know, and so on. <laughs> More BB and B necklaces that didn't fit in the top drawer. I'm trying to keep the necklaces on this side and bracelets on that. Oh, also. This little clip over here was from the Puvithil Tea Party in Georgia, and she made it with my fracking name on it. I mean, isn't that the coolest fracking thing you've ever seen? It's got like a little little clip back and a pin back. I can wear it both ways. There's like a fuzzy on it. Yikes. And I keep that there. 
just in case I want to wear it with red and pink cord. Next up, head bows. Now, we're not going to go through every frack and head bow, but you get the idea. I have the head bow for most of the dresses I own. I feel like 95% of the dresses I own, I have the head bow for because I am a completionist, except for socks. I don't really care about socks. But head bows are important because I, I like the head bow and the dress to match. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You'll notice I have the head bow for Milky Chan the Fawn. That's extremely important to me and no one else. Put that back. Next drawer. More head bows. Look at that. It's the same as last time. Even more head bows. I just, I stack them like a filing cabinet so I can go through them and figure out what I have and what I don't. And I like being able to see what I have so I can be like, all right, I have a head bow for that. Another thing. More head bows and bonnets and bunny ears. I'm really proud of having the bonnet for Rose Toilette. That's pretty damn rare. And all these guys. Sweetie Chandelier. I don't have the blue Sweetie Chandelier head bow. That's one of the few that I'm missing. I like these little barriers. Real quick, can I interject? Yeah, sure. I love how you have a whole bunch of AP bags just stuffed right here. And we have it enough left over that we use them for your background for I'm Telling Tyler. <laughs> That's true, we did. We totally took bags from my little stash. And we use them as a background for I'm Telling Tyler, and that is exactly what happened, no joke. Alright, another drawer, up here. <clears throat> oh, on the very top, this is where I store my BB&B scepter so that it is safe from prying eyes. And myself, because, I mean, who would ever remember to check here? But that's where it is, that's where it lives. Next up, wrist cuffs, first drawer, we've got mainly AP wrist cuffs, some BTSSB back here. But yeah, overwhelmingly AP, because I like their wrist cuffs. Next drawer, off-brand wrist cuffs and the choker for Cat's Tea Party. I almost said Princess Cat. I don't own that one. So like little off-brand wrist cuffs, little choker that I wore with Wonder Cookie, which is right here. Looks really cute together. Another drawer, pins of various types and BB&B &B bags so that I can take my jewelry with me when I travel. It protects it, so I recommend keep your bags. Next up, socks. So many socks. So many socks I had to buy more drawers to store socks. This is all pinks and multicolors. Next up is blues and lavenders and whites with blues. And then the third drawer is browns and pinks and pinks with reds. And yes, I have organized them by color so I can quickly put together a coordinate because I got tired of hunting. And then there's the socks that I'm wearing right now which are on my foot. These are the, oh wow, they got twisted around. These are the Wonder Party socks in blue and I really like them. All right, finally, there is the storage space for bits and bobs, like the little ribbon that goes on a uh, wrapping heart and the little snowy uh, collar, furry collar thing that goes on Lovely Snow Fantasy that I almost never wear because I like my blouses to take center center fold, center, 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 whatever, frame. center frame, and then sleeves to cotton blouses that I will never wear because I have long arms. Center stage is probably what center you stage. To say. Yes. Oh, and the back bow for uh, Sugar Dream Dome and some berets. That's all that's back there. And finally, oh wait, no, there's two things, but still, my shoes. Oh my God, shoes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> These shoes suck. Oh, Jesus. These shoes suck. Ugh. Let's get them. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> All right. And then finally, and I do mean it this time, my bags, which are behind my lovely cameraman. Right there. And I only have four because... Wait, no, I actually have more. There's more hidden. I forgot about that. There's more behind the blouses. There's like a couple. I think there's like two. Yeah. There's like two little heart bags hidden back here. So I guess I have six bags, but I almost never use my long strap bags because I wear a hoop skirt and that makes my hoop skirt ding to the side like a bell. So yeah, I have my little BB&B &B charm on my bag and I really like this a lot. I got it in Pittsburgh at Teco, my first event ever guesting alongside an AP designer, which I will never believe happened because I have a massive amount of imposter syndrome. Why was I there? No one knows. Anyway, I think that's everything. Oh, uh... Extra points if you peep this little memorial cake bag along with my measurements so I know how big I am when I'm shopping online. <laughs> Very important to a Lolita. All right. 
pull my hair back forward. Jesus, holy shit, I pulled off my wire. Ah! Anyway, presuming that didn't completely ruin everything. It did. <laughs> I'm most definitely not going to commit homicide the moment he puts that camera down. Thank you for joining me for my much anticipated and probably horribly disappointing wardrobe tour where I showed you all 69 testaments to my lack of self-control. I love these dresses. will always love these dresses. Catch me at 80 years old, still wearing this fashion because fight me. Thank you for joining me for my wardrobe tour. This has been Tyler. You've been watching Scarfing Scarves. Also, I'd like to thank my patrons for hanging in there while I went through every single dress that I own. I don't know how you have the patience, but I love you for it. And if you'd like to join their ranks, you can head over to patreon.com slash lastweeklolitanews to fund the news show, i.e. things that actually matter and not my horrible issues with self-control. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Also, again, if you want to see more detail shots, Check out Frock Talk.